no drone build is complete without good motors. And trust me, I spent over $500 in the past two years alone. And now I'm starting to question myself whether I made the right choice. On the table here, I have the Mapskin Neon Series motors and this might just become my go-to choice for daily flying. Mapskin offers a wide range of FPV products and I found these motors for only $9.90. And that's not all. They also provide a very kind customer service and you know, sometimes big manufacturers don't care about this thing anymore. So let's have a look at these bad boys and their key features and then we will compare them to some more expensive motors that we have in the area. So these motors come out of the box in a pack and they also provide the screws and a nut for the propeller. And these motors are designed for aggressive freestyle by providing high thrust and durability. They are made of a unibel design using a 6082 aluminum material and this should provide a high resistance to crashes. They also have other interesting features like the NBM bearings, the N50S magnets and also a high temperature resistant copper for the coil. And also the locking mechanism for the propeller is very effective. But why so budget friendly? It's mainly all about the materials used in manufacturing, but these motors have a very well balance between price and quality. For the promised comparison to the more expensive motors, I prepared this table for you. And the subject for it are the T-Motor F60 Pro motor and the iFlight Sing 2, which are premium motors and of course, as you see here on the table, they cost even double or more. But compared to each other, you can see that this Mapskin motor uses lower end quality. For example, it has a stainless steel shaft instead of a titanium one. And also it uses a lower grade aluminum for the bell. It's important to note that the Unibel design that these motors have provides a little bit more resistance to crashes. And also combined with this ratchet shaped upper cover, this will improve even more this resistance. And to be honest, most of the crashes I've experienced ended up in bending the bell exactly here in the upper part of it. And I used only high-end motors. But I'm really thinking about switching to this. And if you do the same, check out the link in the description and don't forget to use my code for a discount of 10%. Also, let me know in the comments if it's worth paying more and why. I'm really interested in seeing what's your opinion about this. So this being said, there is only one way to find out if these motors are worth the hype. I'm going to install these motors on a tank frame from Let's Fly RC. And these are the motors. They look absolutely fantastic. I will install them in the frame here and then route the wires to the ESC. I will not cut the wires at a very perfect length to not risk getting too short wires so a little bit extra is perfect i will have to pre-thin the ends of the 12 wires and then also add a little bit of solder on the esc because i will need to solder them on those pads right there and now i will pre-thin the wires This looks amazing, guys. So the installation process of the motors is now done. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's head out to the field and test them out. I've installed uh, some aggressive propellers to test these motors, and I will try to push them as far as possible. I hope I will not die this launch. <laughs> Everybody's very far away from the drone. Good, and I will arm it. And let's launch. It works. <laughs> Woo! I 
have some Eric's lots, but I don't know why. It was just a, a fail safe. I don't know what, why. Man, this angle is so aggressive. Man, it flies, it's so powerful. I think it deserves a little bit of a better tune, but I like its control, it's very responsive. Flies nice, let's see how it hovers, if I can control it smoothly. Uh, my finger is shaking on the throttle, I think you can hear it. Very nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> nice. So, the motors are, are hot, but not very hot, so I can, in Mr. Steel style, lick the motor. <laughs> I don't know what's the purpose for that, but <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, they are not very hot, so we will take them to another flight. I want to test a, a trick that I never tried it. I will do a off spin a yaw spin and then I will try to do a roll at the same time while going backwards. I will launch it. Arming. Arming. <laughs> Woo! Yes, brother. 30 degrees angle is is exactly something like that. Really fly smooth. <laughs> Woo! Have a nice day, brother.
It's very hard to hover with the 30 degree angle, but... I need to land, I need to land, no battery. So this was it guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this new build. Also these new motors from MAPS are looking great and are also working very nice. I really like the power they are providing and these are not, I don't feel anything that's not good with them. So I totally recommend them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out the link in the description for a 10% discount with my code. See you in the next video. Bye.